So disruptive digital tech, whether it's cloud computing, AI or big data, is definitely changing everyday lives and business models. And we're facing a, a new digital transformation in the automotive sector with the development of connected cars. There's a number of practical benefits to be obtained from autonomous vehicles. There's fewer crashes, a safer and more efficient road transportation systems, and also more jobs in the automotive and tech sectors. However, OEMs need to be aware of the issues that they face by bringing about full autonomy, whether it's supply chain liability risks, how do we deal with data protection and data security concerns, or how road traffic legislation is adapted to the new shift. In the US, they forecast that cars without autonomous features will become obsolete by 2030. The market will be worth a massive $750 billion. So I think there's going to be more of a shift towards parity across the, the negotiating table when it comes to OEMs negotiating with sophisticated technology providers, for example, wireless car. These technology providers are very aware of the issues around big data, data protection and data security, and are quite savvy to what are the pinch points in negotiating. And I think OEMs will need to be alive to that. Previously, they've been able to perhaps uh, or enjoyed a degree of bargaining power over smaller tier one, tier two suppliers, but it's less likely to happen, I think, as we shift to more technology-enabled services. Big data, data protection and data security are key concerns uh, in this area. And historically, the OEMs haven't really held much information on their customers and collecting data hasn't been a key priority. In the connected car environment, Data is going to become a key area as more and more unstructured and structured and personal data becomes available from a variety of different sources, from infotainment systems on the one hand through to event data recorders on the other. And it's really important that the OEMs understand the intellectual property rights regime in relation to that data. In the new environment, as more and more data is being made available, personal data is going to be a key issue. Do you have the consents? from the individuals to use the data for the purposes you want to. Uh, data security is also a key area. And do you have sufficiently robust and secure systems and controls in place to avoid data breaches? And what about the intellectual property rights regime in relation to data? Do they have the database rights or the licenses to use the data for the purposes that they choose to use it for? So this is definitely new territory for car manufacturers. Uh, understanding the data regime, understanding the consents that's required to use data, whether that's for internal analytics or to use the data to provide personal recommendations and services to their customers. So it's really exciting times for both tech providers and the OEMs as we see the automotive sector being disrupted by the digital world. And what they need to understand and find is a trusted advisor that can assist them with all the issues, whether it's data protection or data security. Both the tech providers and the OEMs need to understand how liability gets backed off in a, in a proportionate and reasonable way. Thank you.